So this video tutorial is just going to discuss uh, the basics of epithelial cell shape. So we're not going to discuss stacking or anything like that. All we want to look at in this video is how to distinguish the three basic shapes of epithelial tissue. So we're mainly concerned with shapes of epithelia. Sorry, the pin doesn't work as well. Okay, so there are three basic shapes that epithelial tissues will come in. The first of these is squamous. And squamous epithelial cells are flattened. They're kind of pancake shaped. So if you look at them from the top, they're going to look something like that. And there's a nucleus in the middle. And if you look at them from the side, and this is where we're going to be seeing epithelia the most, is, is sectioned um, crossways. With the squamous epithelium, what you'll see is pretty much a pancake-shaped cell with a little bulge in the middle. And that little bulge is where the nucleus will be. Right? Now, the next slightly larger shape of epithelia is going to be the cuboidal epithelium. and cuboidal epithelia, maybe a little longer, cuboidal epithelia are, as their name suggests, cuboid. So no matter what direction you're looking at them, they are generally going to be square. And then finally, the last shape that you will see uh, most often are your columnar epithelia. And as their name suggests, they're columnar. They're shaped like columns. They're going to be tall and skinny. Something along the lines of this. Now, I want you to pay careful attention to the shapes of the nuclei. And I didn't do a very good job over here with the squamous or squamous epithelium. Um, so let me erase that nucleus. And we'll draw it back in the way it's supposed to look. Which would be something more along the lines like that. Okay? So oftentimes, especially in lab when you're using student microscopes, the shapes of the cell is going to be are going to be hard to t to see. Uh, often cell membranes aren't easily discernible in uh, you know, in the slides that you're going to be seeing in a regular Micro, uh, microscopy lab in an anatomy and physiology class. So the thing you really want to home in on is the shape of the nucleus. So if you're trying to tell is that a squamous cell, a cuboidal cell, or a columnar cell, look at the nucleus. Squamous epithelia, because they're, they're so thin and so compressed, are going to have a nucleus that is going to be kind of elongate. So and we'll draw some chromatin in there and you can kind of see that you're going to see a nucleus that looks something like this, okay? It's going to be flattened. So you want to look for a flattened nucleus. Now, cuboidal epithelia, because of the shape of the epithelium, are not going to be placing much restraint on the shape of the nucleus. So in these guys, you're going to see something that looks kind of like your standard textbook nucleus, that is, a sphere. So you're going to look for a little beach ball or a globe or something like that. Okay, you're going to look for a spherical, sorry about the handwriting, nucleus. And then finally, for columnar epithelia, because the cells are compressed side to side and elongated up and down, you're going to see that the nucleus is going to be elongated. I think it looks kind of like a cigar. So you're going to look for these elongate cigar-shaped nucleus. We'll use our fancy science word here and say an elongate nucleus. So what I want to do now is hopefully you've seen the three different shapes of nuclei that are going on here. What I want to do is look at a few pictures, um, real-life pictures that I've just pulled off of the web um, and show you real-life examples of what we're going to see here. So I'm going to get rid of our drawing 
and bring up the first picture. Um, this is from a great web resource. This is from the Kansas University's HistoWeb. Um, so you can go on the, online and look at JDoc HistoWeb. Um, and this is a picture of a renal corpuscle. That's part of your kidney. And we're not going to concern ourselves with the stuff in the middle. So we're not worried about this stuff. Okay. What we're worried about is this part right up here. This area, I just got an email, sorry about that. This area is surrounded by a very thin epithelium. And in almost all histological preparations, nuclei are going to stain blue. So let me switch to a brush. Pick a color that's going to show up a little better. We'll go with black. If you look right here, you see a couple of nuclei. And if you look closely at these nuclei, you can see that they're flattened. And if you look at these cells, you see that they look something like this, indicating that the epithelium around this renal corpuscle is a squamous epithelium. All right, let's look at another one over here. So what you're looking at here up on the right hand side of the screen is technically an endothelium. It's a capillary. This is a capillary. So here are some red blood cells. Oops. I need to, there we go. Here are some red blood cells. And the epithelium is right down here. Okay. So on a lab exam, I might have the pointer on here, or on a lecture exam, you might see uh, just an arrow drawn on an image pointing to the epithelial cells. But look at this nucleus right here. See how that nucleus is squashed flat? And you can actually, thankfully, make out the cell. So I'm just going to outline the cell with my pen here, roughly. Okay, so there's the cell. And you can see the nucleus over here in the middle, right here and you can see that it is flattened, indicating once again that that is a squamous epithelium. All right, so let's move on and look at another sample. This is also taken from the kidney. And here our epithelial cells are uh, found right in here. And that was a terrible color to use. That's not going to stand out very well. So let's look here. Let's try that again. It's a little better. This is gray. So if we look right here, just erase that all together. That was a bad idea. All right, let's just try this again. So let's get a nice black pen. Excellent. And let's look at this cell right here. And what I want you to notice is this cell, and so I'm going to outline the entire epithelium. I guess I need to disable those email notifications while I'm making these videos. If we outline the entire epithelium, and I'm going to outline just a few individual cells to give you an idea of where they stop and start. So here's the one I started looking at. Here's another cell right here. Here's another one here, so you can see kind of where all these cells are stopping and starting. Okay. And you can see, I hope, that the nuclei inside these cells, so this little guy right here, this guy right here, this guy right up here. Hopefully you can see that these nuclei are roughly spherical. And where you can make out the edges of the cells, like for instance right here, right, we can see this borderline running along here, then you can tell that the cell is cuboid. But even maybe down here on the bottom left side, where we can't see the borders between the cells, we can see that that nucleus is almost a perfect circle, indicating that this is a cuboidal epithelium. Okay, so let's look at our last example over here. And how do we know that this is a columnar epithelium? Well, we're fortunate with this particular image because the edges of the cells are stained pretty well. So we can see here's the edge of the cell down, go to the basal lamina, we come back up and we see a pretty nice tall columnar cell but again we can look at that nucleus 
and see it's kind of squished up and down. This isn't the best example in the world. The cell next to it is a much better example. We can see that that nucleus is much taller than it is wide. So this dimension is much greater than this dimension, indicating that this is a columnar epithelium. So just a quick review. If you see that flattened nucleus, or you look at the cell from the side and it's squashed flat, that's going to be a squamous epithelium. If the cell looks like a square from the side and or it has a nice spherical nucleus, that's going to be a cuboidal epithelium. And finally, if the cell is tall and skinny and or has an elongate or cigar-shaped nucleus, that's going to be a columnar epithelium. I hope this helps. See you next time.